Authorities in Singapore could soon have more power over the online space. They may direct digital platforms to take down harmful content and even remove malicious applications from app stores. It's part of a new bill introduced in Parliament to keep users away from online harm. Chloe Chu reports. These devices were seized when 23 men were arrested over child sexual exploitation activities in March. They were transmitting obscene materials through the internet. And months prior, 32 people were arrested for alleged drug transactions on chat apps. The Home Affairs Ministry says the internet has been increasingly exploited by criminals. If you just take a look around you, you'll notice that most people in Singapore have easy access to the online realm. With an internet penetration rate of nearly 97%, one of the highest in the world, it's safe to say the nation is well connected and anyone could have been easily exposed to scams or harmful content online. One lawyer says the bill is timely. There's a need for legislation to respond to uh, offences or crimes on a scale that, that uh, reaches the public by way of social media and other platforms. Uh, the, the reach of these kinds of platforms enhances or exacerbates the harm that is caused to the public. That's, that's one. And the other is the, the speed. With the new laws, the government can issue directions to online services over crimes such as terrorism, drugs and sexual harassment. It aims to stop communication, disable content, and restrict malicious accounts from interacting further with Singapore's network. And it can be issued as soon as it's suspected that a criminal activity might be occurring online. For instance, when an online criminal activity happens, the government can issue a direction to the original poster to remove the content. Social media platforms may also be asked to disable access to the content, or restrict the account from interacting with the audience here. Other directions include ordering an online service provider to disable access to a website or having application stores remove an app. There's also more focus on scams. MHA says such cases have risen significantly over the years to nearly 34,000 in 2022. The government says a lower threshold will apply to such cases for swift action. I think it might be a little bit too late to investigate and then go after the actors of the crime. If, you know, there's a scam that's in the works or preparatory steps that are taken towards committing a crime, then where the police can step in or law enforcement can step in quickly, then that prevents uh, a massive uh, fallout. Other measures in the bill include a proposed codes of practice, which will be issued by the police. It requires online service providers to have processes and systems in place to prevent scams and partner the government to combat it. MEJ says the framework will be developed in consultation with the industry.